What's up, family? Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your boy, C-Notes. Thanks for checking me out. And I think I'm the only one who does this. But every two weeks, I get in front of this camera and I show y'all everything I picked up for our streetwear and accessories for the week. Um, My name is C-Notes, and I'm a compulsive buyer. <laughs> I mean, I pick up a lot of things in, in, in a week span. Some things I give away, some things I keep for a while. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscription, hit the notification bell. We do this every two weeks. Enough talking. Hit the B-roll. Yes, sir. So this week, I'm not going to lie, I went kind of light. It was just some things I was searching for, some I did get, some I'm still looking for. But um, one thing I was looking for that I finally got my hands on was the Ape Lakers Michelin Ness gear. Guys, when this dropped, I don't know why I was hesitant. Maybe because I just had copped all that uh, Takashi Murakami Laker gear. But being a Laker fan, you can't have enough Laker gear, man. Even though I did think that this resembled the bait a little too much, I started seeing pictures of it again, and I went on a wild hunt. So this here is the hoodie. You see the ape there. So dope, man. I didn't, I didn't see all of this like design and detail on the pictures. So when it got here, I was like way more happy. The front reads Laker with the ape there. And the back reads Laker also with a huger ape. And in the background of the hoodie, you see a whole bunch of, you know, like the bathing ape designs inside. And um, stock X price on this was like way too much. You see the detailing on the hoodie. I happened to find this on eBay for a steal, guys. Like a steal. So shout out to that eBay. -er. Um, I think I paid $130 for this, and the retail on this is $219, guys. So, crazy, crazy steal, guys. Crazy steal. The steal was so good that after I brought the hoodie, I went and searched for the shorts. <laughs> and the shorts happened to be on Laker.com, and, um... Comes in this nice clear bag, ape. Believe it or not, the shorts was more than the hoodie. And um, I got these from Laker.com, NBA store, same thing. But I had to pay $170. But you can't have a hoodie without the shorts or the sweat, so I had to do it, man. And the hoodie is, I mean, and the shorts is just as dope as the hoodie. Same branding on the back tab. You got Mitchell and Ness, Ape logo, Lakers on the waistline. Dope, man. So don't sleep on eBay. That's the moral of this story. Don't, don't sleep on eBay. Just make sure it's 100% official and you can trust the seller. Ape, Lakers. Keeping it yellow. Y'all know that last week was the last week. For Supreme. You know you dope when you can go on vacation in the middle of the year and not worry about your bottom line. Supreme is dope, man. But um, usually before the last week, they do the summer tees because we're in summer. So I really wasn't feeling all of them. Usually I'm feeling like four out of the ten or the eight. I only was feeling two. 
So I got two. The first one here is the Supreme Float Tee. Yeah, man. Come on. Dope. Who doesn't like a floater? Nice, pretty woman in the water. Beautiful tee, man. And um, I rarely cop yellow shirts, even though I'm a Laker fan. Because I really don't do too much yellow sneakers. But I had to get this in a yellow because it screams summer to me. So I think the retail was $38. Right now you could get it on StockX for maybe $50, $60. Not too bad. Nothing on the back. It just has the float tee on the front. Cartoon woman. I like it, man. Keeping it supreme, I also went and got the Manhattan tee. As y'all know, well, some of y'all know I'm from New York. So anything really New York, Yankees, Mets, not Knicks, but Yankees, Mets, anything that screams New York, I'm with it. And um, this hair is in a coral colorway. This was probably the best shirt they had. I know I'm being New York biased, but far as the designs and details, this had to be the best. If you're from New York, you know we're known for our subway stations, our yellow cabs, and all that is there. Also our bodegas. So everything is there. But even on the back of the shirt, the Supreme, Manhattan, the font, it's all dope. This also was $38, I believe. It's going for a little bit more on StockX and Gold, like $70. But with the summer tees, you could get this still early. But if you try to wait, they're going to be in the $100 range next year when the next summer tees come out. Or even when the fall tees come. So, get your hands on them now. And this coral colorway is beautiful, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what y'all think about the summer tees. And let me know which ones y'all copped. I might go back and up grab some. Keeping it in that coral colorway. Y'all know every Friday I do an Eric Emanuel thing. Um, even if I really don't like the colorway, I still cop because who can have enough shorts, man? But this one right here, I really, really like. I think it was last Friday. Um, and this is the boat tee. I got it in this colorway because I felt like this colorway was so unique. Um, so you got the like a raspberry colorway. Nice blue and pink bolts on both sides. And the EE logo is in that nice pink. I mean, if you've seen one EE like uh, uniform, basketball uniform shorts, you kind of seen them all. So you already know about the texture, the design, um, the little strings in the inside. But this is the Bolti EE. And um, the packaging that come in is super dope to me. I love it. Made in New York. Eric Emanuel. Best shorts in the world. Very dope, man. So again, the EE Bolt shorts. Um, I think 108 shipped to me. 118. Um, StockX has these now for almost around the same price. About 150. So if you want them. Grab them. I do feel like with certain EETs, I mean, with EE shorts, you should get a size bigger. Some fit smaller than others. I like. I feel like I would usually wear large in shorts. I feel like I should have went extra large with this, as these seem to be a little smaller. But it should fit. EE boat tee. Keeping it EE. I went and got the Eric Emanuel Adidas McDonald's shorts. And the reason I did this is because Adidas kept emailing me, hey, ain't seen you in a while, ain't buy nothing in a while. And I wanted to write them back like, you ain't see me or see me in a while is because every time I try to enter something on the Confirm app, I lose. It's like, how can I buy something if I can't win? So I said, let me just go. They gave me a 15% code. Long, cold, stupid cold. I was going to put it in one of the videos for you guys, but that cold was just extra long. I don't know why they couldn't keep it simple. It was a long cold, man. But I went and got the McDonald joints. Um, in a video in the future, I'll show y'all why I went and got these, even though you really can't really put those, those companies together. But I'm going to just show y'all because it match in a future video. But yeah, man, these short screen McDonald's, you got the red, the yellow, and the blue. You know, Ronald McDonald, Burglar, all his friends. 
got the logos here, Adidas logo there, the EE -E there. I feel like these should have been bigger because the shorts are busy. Like this pinstripe colorway is busy, guys. But my highlight is the long um, laces or waist strings. Very long, man. Good material. That's what I like. And um, Adidas material on these are nice, man. Super nice. Again, these are large um, pockets. I always feel like pockets should have zippers, but nice deep pockets, man. EE -E McDonald's Adidas joints. Got and I haven't got a Nike bag like this in a while. This was an impulsive buy, but I'm not mad at it. As y'all know, I'm a Laker fan, but the Golden State Warriors won the um, NBA Finals. And I like Steph. He's very hard not to like. So I went and just copped the um, Golden State World Champions tee and that nice like graffiti look from Nike. You know, Nike material is the best. And um, it was an impulsive buy. I mean, I will wear it. They are the champs. You got to respect that. But I'm a Laker fan, man. But it's real dope. I think $30 or $40. It took a while. I brought it the night they won, and it just came maybe two days ago. But it's here. Let me know how y'all feel about Golden State winning the championship, man. Yeah, guys, as I said, I went light this week. Um... No sneakers really came out, and, um, well, sneakers did come out, but it wasn't nothing really that I was going for. Let me know what y'all cop this week, man. Let's switch the roles. Let me know what y'all cop this week. I'm your boy, Sneaker Notes. Thanks for watching. Everybody, get rich.